This is the Notre Dame Top 10, a student production done with Fighting Irish Digital Media recapping the 10 best plays of the month. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Patrick Stout, she's Laura Thomas, and we will be your hosts for the Notre Dame Top 10. That's right, Pat. We've poured through dozens of Notre Dame sporting events throughout the month, the wins and the losses, and now we will count down the top 10 sports moments of the month of February. Now this list is just what we thought, so of course you are encouraged to tweet us your thoughts as well. Send us a comment with the hashtag NDTop10 and maybe on our next show, your pick can make an appearance. We've had an outstanding month of Notre Dame sports. Shall we get to the countdown? Let's do it. At number 10, we have the first lacrosse goal of the season. Look at the snow coming down there in North Carolina. Jim Marlott heating up the scoreboard though for the Irish. A good day for Notre Dame. They get the victory 13-5 over Duke. And for number nine, how about Skylar Diggins with her second career triple-double? 17 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. This was just the fourth triple-double in school history. Way to go, Sky. Number eight, we trek outside to the Windy City for the Hockey City Classic freshman sensation. Mario Lucia scores the first goal of the game. Notre Dame went on to win 2-1 over Miami. The Mayo Mile is one of the most acclaimed indoor track events in the entire country. It's held every year at Notre Dame during the Mayo Invitational. This year, Notre Dame's Rebecca Tracy set out to claim the Mayo Mile crown for the ladies. Let's take a look at Rebecca Tracy, a senior from Barrington, Illinois, pulling away from the field. Here she is sprinting down that last straightaway to finish with a time of 4.39.52. Way to go, Rebecca. Back on the Harvard for number six, we have freshman Zach August showing off his elite athleticism. Look at the swat here. Look at the elevation once again here on the replay by Zach August, almost hitting his head on the backboard he got so high. I bet we'll see more from this game later on in the Notre Dame Top 10 Countdown. Let's go to number five and check out this give and go from freshman phenom Jewel Lloyd, Skylar Diggins, and then back to Jewel Lloyd. Julie doing a lot of good things for the Irish this year. And of course, Skylar Diggins, the first Notre Dame basketball player with 2,000 points, 500 rebounds, and 500 assists. When college game day rolled into town for the Louisville game, fans packed Purcell Pavilion for a morning to show off their support for the Notre Dame men's basketball program. Casey Murdoch, a senior finance major, got the chance to take a half-court shot worth $18,000. The atmosphere was crazy. And to talk about what happened next, here's the man himself, Casey Murdoch. Thanks guys. You said it. College game day was insane, but nothing was crazier than my half-court shot. Here is at number four on the Notre Dame Top Ten. Casey Murdoch's first shot here. Real close, just missing there. The assist from Reese Davis coming here on the second. Up, off the backboard and in! Casey Murdoch winning $18,000. The students rush the court, pure jubilation all around at the Joy Center. Reaction from the Notre Dame men's basketball team just as excited as they swamped the senior finance major. Reese Davis, Jay Billis, as well as former Notre Dame head coach Digger Phelps all on hand to join in the celebration. Casey Murdoch clutch half-court shot on college game day coming in at number four. And look at the size of this big check, $18,000 later. It's going to be hard to top that, but we'll try with number three as we move on to much later that night. Try the fourth overtime of the Louisville game. Derek Sherman here with the game-saving putback. Coming off the bench, he makes a huge impact and ties the game up to send us into our fifth overtime. Let's bring the sticks and pucks back out. Onto the pond, back for number two on the highlight reel. Jeff Costello passed through the legs. Brian Russ getting the goal past the Michigan goalie. Spinning and passing it through the legs. Let's see it one more time. Slow motion through the legs of the Michigan defender. That goal gave the Irish the lead, and they swept the season series for the first time since 72. Which brings us to number one on our countdown, and I think I know what all of you are thinking. Now for number one. We'll remind you of the situation in case you've forgotten. The Irish are down by eight with just 45 seconds left in the game against Louisville. The game's over, right? Wrong. Jaron Grant hits not one, not two, but here he is with three three-pointers to bring the Irish back within three points. And then, well, here's Notre Dame's play-by-play -play guru, Jack Nolan, with the call. On the way, and it is no good! Rebound Connaughton, off to Grant. Here comes Grant. Grant spinning over midcourt. Grant behind his back, being double-teamed. Grant drives the lane, lays it off the glass, and in! And he's fouled! The basket counts! And 
Reese Mahomes! Jaron Grant could go to the line to tie the game! 28 seconds of Jaron Grant. That's 12 points in 28 seconds to tie the game up and send it into overtime. Truly a moment for the ages at Purcell Pavilion. What a crazy atmosphere. And of course, the Irish went on to win in quintuple. That's five overtimes. Amazing. Thank you for stopping by for the February edition of the Notre Dame Top 10. If your Top 10 was different, let us know at hashtag NDTop10. Be sure to share your nominations while watching every Notre Dame game in March, and you might see your tweet on the show. Until next time, we'll leave you with the final moments of the Louisville game. Go Irish. Go Irish. Chicago Smith, deep three, is no good. Rebound to Hannon, out of bounds, and it's over! It's over! In the longest regular season game in the history of the Big East Conference, Notre Dame has defeated Louisville 104-101 in not one, not two, not three, not four, but five overtimes. Oh.